Introducing first to my left, from the Andromeda Galaxy, recently escaped from Area 51. She's more than a woman because she's the galaxy's greatest alien, Chris Statlander. Her opponent to my right, from the Ocean State. She is the hottest gal in the aquarium. Swipe right for a perfect match, cause she's a real fucking catch, Ashley Vox! Two of the most successful competitors in Limitless Wrestling history about to square off here as Kevin Quinn motions for the bell and we're off. Last creature standing, no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts. As you heard, Rich Palladino, the only way to win this match is when your opponent does not answer the count of 10. Wow, middle finger. Oh, and drives her on the knee to open this one up. And Chris Statlander, what's she going for here? What does she have? Oh! And this is Shades of Snake Bitten in January. Ashley Vox defeating Chris Statlander earlier this year with the real catch submission with that turnbuckle placed in Chris Statlander's mouth, nearly ripping her lip open. There's a wrestler that wrestled in the opening match on this show, Warhorse, that had his mouth ripped open from that exact type of turnbuckle. Yes, that's, that's, that's dangerous, that's scary, and that could definitely rearrange your jaw. History being made the first ever female main event. Pretty here, crazy. I know, a special night here at Twilight Zone in Yarmouth, Maine, live on IWTV, hashtag Twilight Zone. Twilight, Twilight Zone? Twilight, Twilight Zone. Definitely join in the conversation on Twitter as Chris Statlander converses with the Limitless Wrestling faithful at ringside as Kevin Quinn implements the count. Chris Statlander, does she think she's already got this one won? I, we all know that Ashley Vox has way more fight than that. But definitely an early beating with that backbreaker. Backbreaker and then the, the turnbuckle and now cracking her over the head. To the top of the head of Ashley Vox. Ashley in a rough way to start this one and she's already busted. What? And Chris that well, that was steel on the fucking forehead. What do you expect? The war paint, and Chris Statlander just, oh my goodness, rubbing the metal against the forehead. You can see, it looks like a slight cut on the forehead of Ashley Vox. Oh, and Chris Statlander's licked the blood off her hand. Oh, that's wild. This Big kick once again to Ashley Vox. This alien is seeking blood tonight. Go to the top rope, goes Ashley Vox. Ooh. Eesh. Well, Chris Statlander, I mean, straight up, she's dressed in black for Ashley Vox's funeral. She said she wants to kill Ashley Vox. That's, that's, that's a bit extreme, but she's definitely looking to inflict some punishment on the real catch. She's got her placed on the top rope now. Looks like hooking her for a superplex. Kevin Quinn putting on the, uh, the plastic gloves to avoid any blood on him. Very smart move. Kick from Ashley Vox, who flies with a drop kick to Chris Statlander. Takes her corner to corner with that big drop kick. Not the biggest dog in the fight, but has a lot of fight. Oh, oh. no! Crash and burn on that cannonball in the corner, and Chris Statlander jumping right on the offensive with a German suplex halfway across the ring. Dropping her right on her head. And now Kevin Quinn once again. The count begins. We're at two. And to, Ashley Vox is off to a rough start here. We have to imagine the pressure that was just put on Ashley Vox's neck. Missing the cannonball in the corner and then taking a huge German suplex. Using the ropes to get back to her feet. She's back. Back up, but once again, introduced to the boot of the galaxy's greatest alien who charges in and throws herself at Ashley Vox. Another big kick. Big 
kick or possible knee strike to the temple of Ashley Box. Looks like it may have opened her up a little more. Looks like a possible boxer's cut above the eyebrow. Ooh. She is busted blood. You got to think that's screaming into the eyes now of the real catch, Ashley Box. Oh, the blood plays a factor. The sweat plays a factor. A lot of that stuff getting to the eyes of Ashley Box can really uh, be a detriment to uh, this match. But she's firing back. Three straight forearms to the Galaxy's greatest alien. And here comes Ashley Fox. No! Taken right back down with a clothesline from Chris Statlander. Also, the Saiva. The, the, man, I can't speak today. It's, it's the match. Uh, the size difference between the two. Ashley Fox, a much smaller girl. Yeah, much smaller competitor than Chris Statlander, who's been throwing her around the ring at this point. And Ashley Box just continues to answer the count as she's getting her feet under her wobbly, but she is up. And Chris Statlander right back on the offensive with another scoop and a slam and looking for the count once again. I mean, slamming Box with ease. I watch a lot of Chris Stat's Instagram videos, deadlifting over 300 pounds for sets of eight. That's incredible. Yes, I, I, I don't even deadlift, so. Oh, I'm not anywhere close to that. Very strong human being. Excuse me, alien. And another scoop and a slam with ease. And Kevin Quinn implements the count once again. Crowd not happy, but Chris Statlander is doing exactly what she needs to do to wear down Ashley Fox and increase her chances of walking out of Twilight Zone victorious. I mean, if this is Chris Statlander's last night, does she want to walk out with an L? No. Absolutely not. It's not what she signed up for. But she's going under the ring now, and there's a chair. Can't say I didn't expect any weaponry tonight. Kick to the, oh no! Chair across the back of the real catch. Ashley Vox now placing a chair down in the ring. Scoop and oh no! Oh, a slam on the chair! Perfect landing on that chair. I am not sure if Ashley's going to be get up from that one. Chris Statlander in firm control and could potentially have it won here if Ashley Vox is unable to answer the count of 10. We're at six. And now Chris Stat back on the attack as Ashley Vox gets back to her feet. And the club's reining in once again on the real catch. Corner to the corner. And now what should I do? Drops oh. the chair on top of Ashley Vox and stomps it. On to the real catch, and now Chris Statlander advancing to the top rope. Could be going for her uh, patented moonsault. Oh, no water in the pool, but a steel chair in oh. the hands of Ashley Fox, who throws it at Chris Statlander, connecting with the skull. That never ends well when you get sabooed in the head with a steel chair. Both winning down. Kevin Quinn back on the count once again. We are at four. And Ashley Fox now on the apron, trying to use the ropes to pull herself back to a vertical base. Referee Kevin Quinn at the count of six. Pulls ladies up. Shoulder to the abdomen region now springs in. And Chris Stat though, stays on her feet. Ashley Fox connecting and drilling her on the steel chair with the DDT. Took an absolute, oh man, that, geez, I can't talk, Jerry. An absolute digger onto the chair. Kevin Quinn now at the count of five. Ashley Box making her way to her feet, trying to get the feet under her. And she does back up to a vertical base. Chris Statlander rolls out of the ring onto her feet. Very smart to create some distance from the real catch who just drilled her on that steel chair. And here comes Ashley Vox to the floor. Chris Statlander though, oh my God! She may have hit her head on the hardwood floor. 
We need to check on them, and Kevin Quinn, though, back on the count. The crowd is in silence right now after that. I would be too. I'm unsure if they're gonna be able to get back to their feet here. A rough landing for Ashley Fox. Chris Statlander. What's she, oh no. It looks like Chris Statlander found a door prize. Good one. A door now being slid into the ring. Dastardly intentions on the mind of the galaxy's greatest alien as she props the door up in the corner. And Ashley Vox, not far behind. Chris Statlander unaware. Trying to put her out with that sleeper hold. Restricting the airway of Chris Statlander, who's fading now down to the canvas. A firm grip on from the real catch, Ashley Vox. And Chris Statlander now out on the canvas as Kevin Quinn once again implementing the count. Could that have been enough, Randy? Time will tell Chris Statlander just now at the count of five, beginning to stir. Knees, it looks. Needs to get to both feet. She's up. She's up. Ashley Vox, though, looking to charge. Uh-oh. Chris Statlander caught her into the door. That thing doesn't move. And now here she comes again, into the door and through it. She spears the real catch, Ashley Fox. A gore through the door goes Ashley Fox. Is that gonna be it? Kevin Quinn trying to remove some of the destruction as Chris Statlander hucks that door to the floor. I understand the frustration. She's been drilled, you can see, taking a second to kind of regain her bearings right now. Can Ashley Vox make it back to her feet? And Chris Statlander sees her getting up and just boots her once again. And the onslaught is on from the galaxy's greatest alien as she sends Vox hard to the floor. My God, what a landing. It doesn't look like Chris Stat wants to count there. Looking under the ring for a little more plunder. What is that? Is that a, is that a box card? That's a box card. That's a little bit much. That's a little bit much. Uh, Chris Statlander with a box cutter in hand. Shades of the IWA Deep South Carnage Cup with this one. Looking to break those zip ties off the turnbuckle. It looks like she's trying to remove that top turnbuckle pad and screaming at Kevin Quinn, who's just trying to do his job. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, the exposed turnbuckle. That's steel and wire, as you can see. You can see the nuts and bolts also hanging from it. Chris Statlander gingerly inviting Ashley Vox back into the ring after exposing the top turnbuckle. Ashley Vox has no clue where she is or what's been happening inside the ring as Chris Statlander brings her back inside the squared circle. But the girl has fight, you cannot doubt that. She absolutely does as she connects with some shots in the abdomen region. Now some forearms to the jaw, but Chris Statlander pops her one and a club across the back. Now what's she looking for here? A buckle bomb, maybe? Oh, no, onto that exposed buckle. Ashley Fox fighting for her life. Sends Chris Statlander into that exposed top turnbuckle. Both women down. That may have been all that Ashley Fox had left. Using those ropes, trying to get up. Yeah, she barely answered the count last time, and now Kevin Quinn once again at the count of four. Ashley Fox still not back to her feet, using the ropes to climb back up. And Chris Statt stirring as well across the ring from her arch rival here in Limitless Wrestling, Ashley Fox. 
Chris Statt, also a bloody mess. Oh no! Drilling her head into that top turnbuckle. The steel, the wire. Ashley Vox on another level right now. I don't know how she's operating, to be quite honest. I don't know how. I am not sure if Chris Statt's rolling out to try to get away from Ashley Vox. Or, or if she just has no idea where she is right now. Regardless, she's created some space between her and the real catch, but she still does need to answer the count of 10. And Chris Statlander now looks like she's coming to her feet. Grabbing another chair, it looks like. I don't know if Fox sees it, though. I don't think she does. At an awkward angle, she can't really see! And now she sees it! And now she don't. Now what's Chris Statlander doing on the floor? Sets up a chair. And Statlander, I think, looking for more utensils. Another chair, and you can see the blood streaming down the face of the galaxy's greatest alien. You can see the blood stain on that chair. The count still on from Kevin Quinn. Another door. How many do we have? In, in, how the hell did they get under the ring? How don't you know there are doors under the ring, Randy? How don't you know? I don't look. I'm not, I'm, I'm on commentary. Uh-oh, here comes Ashley Fox, though, to the floor! Throwing herself at the galaxy's greatest alien. Trying to hurt herself to hurt her opponent. And the door has been propped up on a couple chairs outside of the ring in front of the front row. Lander down on that table. If my memory serves me right, she's going up top. Oh my. She's gonna go for that patented senton. Crowd on their feet as Ashley Vox advancing to the top rope. This is crazy. Through the door on top of Chris Statlander, the risk you have to take to walk out victorious. Ashley Vox putting everything on the line to walk out of Limitless Wrestling victorious. Kevin Quinn in the ring starting the count. Both ladies are down. Wow. Just unbelievable. Both competitors down. If I could not be in the main event tonight, I'm very glad this was. It had to be. There's was so much behind this. Two years of, of friendship and then a rivalry and then fake friendship, friendship again. And we're, we're back to square one with these two. And Kevin Quinn. At the count of nine. And both competitors have made it back to a vertical base. Just in a nick of time for Chris Statlander and Ashley Vox, for that matter. After I, Ashley Vox crumbled down with that senton through the table. I think that's as close as this gets. Oh, and there's a kendo stick to Ashley Vox from under the ring. Look at the eyes of Chris Statlander. More than a woman, all right. A goddamn hardcore alien. Oh, no. Across the back of the real catch, and again! Ashley Vox in a very tough position. Unbelievable, raining in the shots with a kendo stick. Ashley Vox is trapped, and now falls down to the canvas. Doesn't look like Chris Statlander's done yet. Oh no, oh. she's got that box cutter again. What the hell is she gonna do? What the hell is she doing? 
can't see from my vantage point. Oh, undoing the, the ring apron. And the... Oh, oh my oh. goodness. The canvas is being pulled up. As you see, a very thin pad under the ring. And pulling the pad where you just see wooden planks. This is unbelievable. I, I've, I've never seen anything like this inside a Limitless Wrestling ring as she's exposing those wood boards. I, I wouldn't even call it a ring at this point. This is like the devil's playground. This is scary, man. We've got careers, lives that could be changed in this last creature standing match as Chris Statlander has exposed the boards on the ring and throws Ashley Box back inside. And I can't imagine what the galaxy's greatest alien has planned here as she waits for Ashley Box to get back to her feet, not waiting anymore. Looks like she's going for that Big Bang Theory on the exposed ring. Oh no! Ashley Vox slipping out, sends Chris Statlander forward. Big kick from the real catch. What could this be? Oh my God, Canadian Destroyer on the exposed boards. Unreal. The count being implemented by referee Kevin Quinn. I don't know if either of these competitors are gonna be able to answer that count. I do not know either. Chris Statlander not moving at all. Ashley Vox trying to get back to a vertical base. We're at seven now, and Chris Statlander has barely moved Ashley Vox back to her feet. The count of eight. Chris Statlander, still down. And now Ashley Vox introducing chairs once again. A third door. I am speechless. Ashley Vox had the opportunity to call the match told Kevin Quinn to stop the count. And now, looks like she's creating another, uh, some other contraption in the ring with the exposed boards, another door, and two steel chairs. Can't imagine what's on the mind of Ashley Vox. She's operating on another level right now. Cut open very early into this contest, and now, setting up a door on top of a couple steel chairs. And I mean, look at what that door is, is covering. It's exposed boards on the ring. What could Ashley Vox be thinking? This is not the Ashley Vox that I know. I have not seen this Ashley Vox in Snake Bit. Chris Statlander though returning with some strikes of her own. We got a battle center of the ring. Two warriors, Ashley Vox and Chris Statlander, going head to head. These two are just on autopilot at this point. Throwing bows, throwing punches, any kind of strike they can connect with. Oh, and she's got the fish hook and a headbutt. Big kick from the galaxy's greatest alien. Tough to maneuver with so much torn up inside the squared circle, but Chris Statlander now positioning that door, and I think she's the one with some evil intentions in mind. For Ashley Fox. And now sets her on top of that door. But I can only imagine what's next. She's calling for area 451. You gotta be kidding me. Chris Statlander slowly advancing to the top. 
Oh, man! What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Ashley now gonna meet Chris Statlander up top. What could she be thinking right now? This is a bad position for both competitors. So much could go wrong from this position. Oh, and Chris Statlander trying to get her in a fireman's carry position. Uh-oh. Fox, though, fighting, elbows, raining into the side of the head of Chris Statlander. Down by Stat. Uh-oh. Has that corner turnbuckle. Got the buckle once again, look to drive it over her skull, but Ashley Vox blocking the shot. Chris Statlander, though, fighting, trying to get possession of that turnbuckle. And now it's in the mouth of Chris Statlander. Shades of snake bitten, shades of the unsanctioned match. Through the door she goes. Via the fish hook with the turnbuckle. The count is on from referee Kevin Quinn. We're at four, Anthony Green. Ashley Fox using the ropes, but up on her feet. We're at six. We are so close. Seven, it's crunch time. Chris Statlander barely moved. We're at nine. Is she gonna make it? And that's it. What a win. Here is your winner, Ashley.